So the top 10 recruits in the class of 2023, starting with number 10 here, we have Anderson Moore, a goalie out of Briarwood Christian in Alabama. He's actually the first five-star recruit out of Alabama, and he's already committed to Georgetown. This man straight up commits highway robbery on a regular basis. Like, look at this save. Imagine you're the attack man and you get saved like that. That's just gotta be crazy to go up against. And from all accounts, he's the real deal and uses his quick reaction time and high lacrosse IQ to simply make saves that he shouldn't. He's also nifty with the ball and his stick and can push transition with his outlet passes or with his feet. He's gonna be scary to watch when he plays in college. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's one of those four-year starter type guys at Georgetown. And next at number nine, we have Nate Kabiri, an attackman out of Georgetown Prep just outside Washington, D.C. In the first 10 seconds of watching this guy's highlight reel, you can just tell how smooth his game is. He's able to make his defenders look downright silly with his change of direction. I just love the way this guy turns the corner from X and shoots the ball hard. He's not afraid to shoot with pressure and take a hit if it means he can score. He kind of reminds me of pro attackman writer Garnsey with the way he just kind of leans in and finds a way to get to the goal. He's also so well-rounded. He always has his eyes up and makes some borderline ridiculous passes. And guess what? He's committed to Georgetown too. So the Hoyas snagged two top 10 recruits. This guy is going to be fun to watch and I can't wait to watch him at Georgetown. Down. I feel like he has the talent to find time on the field the second he steps on campus. And coming in hot at number eight, we have Kyle Lehman. This guy has one speed, 110%. It seems like he's in an all-out sprint in every clip that I've seen from him. He has an absolutely filthy split dodge and can pick apart pretty much any defender that's in his way. I also can't really tell what hand he is. The man scores so many goals righty and lefty. Tough is a word that I clearly see when I watch him. He rides like an animal, so not only do you have to worry about guarding him, you have to worry that he's going to take the ball back from you too. And Kyle's already drawn comparisons to Grant Amon and actually works with him regularly. And it's no surprise, you can see a ton of similarities in their games. Just like Grant, Kyle committed to Penn State and is looking to help the Nittany Lions take the next step in becoming a college lacrosse powerhouse. This is another one of those guys that could definitely make an impact right when he gets to Penn State. And next at number seven, we have Ty Banks, a defenseman out of Western Reserve in Ohio. All I'm saying is that if I was an attackman, I would not want to go up against this guy. He throws extremely hard checks and just seems like an absolute pest on every matchup. He has an extremely high lacrosse IQ and picks off passes left and right. Most elite close defensemen are usually on the bigger side, but Ty is relatively normal height and weight at 5'11", 180 pounds. As long as he continues to play like he is and build strength, this guy's going to be a staple of a college lacrosse defense in the near future. If you're an aspiring defenseman and you want to see what a great great player looks like, watch this man's highlight reel a hundred times. And coming in at number six, we have Tomas Delgado, a midfielder from the Brunswick School in Connecticut. The first word that comes to mind is athletic. You can just tell this guy is bigger, stronger, and faster than every player on the field. He's just got that bounce that you can't teach, but you know it when you see it. He also has a ripper of an outside shot, and the goal literally shakes when he releases a step down. This guy thrives in transition. He almost looks like a basketball player. He just weaves through the defenders and scores. He's also known for being clutch and has scored some huge goals when it comes down to the wire. And it's no surprise this guy committed to Duke. He's your prototypical ACC midfielder that's big, strong, and athletic. He also has a brother AJ who's already on the Duke team, so I'm sure that went into his decision too. I'm excited to see what's next for this guy. We're going to be watching him on ESPN soon. All right, top five, here we go. At number five, we have Owen Duffy, an attackman out of St. Anthony's in Long Island. Get this, he had seven goals in a single game game against Shamana, one of the best high school teams in the country. Smooth is the word that comes to mind with this guy. He just makes lacrosse look effortless. And we got to talk about his split dodge. It's just downright nasty. From all accounts, this guy is a leader and dominates his matchup consistently. And with so many big time recruits coming out of St. Anthony's, like Andrew McAdory and Brennan O'Neill, he has experience playing with the best of the best. And as of making this video, he hasn't committed anywhere yet, but he definitely has the pick of any big school he wants. I'm excited to see how his game continues to develop and the sky is truly the limit for Duffy. And by the way, you can always subscribe to the free Lax Weekly email newsletter packed with tangible tips on how to become a better lacrosse player. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go subscribe now. And at number four, we have Mac Christmas, an LSM out of Georgetown Prep. This guy wreaks havoc up and down the field and it's no surprise Duke snatched him up while they could. He's six foot four, 205 pounds and uses his frame to bully anybody brave enough to try 
try to dodge on him. And the crazy thing is, is that he's only played LSM for two years. So imagine what he's going to look like by the time he steps on campus with more experience. Another thing I immediately noticed was his offensive ability and dodge very much like a normal midfielder. He's already drawn comparisons to LSM greats like Jared Connors and CJ Costabile. And with his playmaking ability and offensive skill set, I couldn't agree more with the comparisons. And from everything I read, this guy is one of the most impactful players of the summer. And being a specialized position like LSM makes it all the more impressive. This guy's going to terrorize offenses in the ACC for years to come. And at number three, we have Leo Hoffman, another midfielder out of Brunswick in Connecticut. The fact that Brunswick has two top 10 midfielders is absolutely ridiculous. You can tell this guy is ultra competitive and dodges 100 miles an hour every time he touches the ball. He's a do-it-all midfielder, he takes pride in defense, can one man clear, and push the ball on offense and score at will. The only knock on him is that he's a bit smaller at 5'9", 170 pounds, but in lacrosse, you can thrive at any size, and I don't think that's going to stop him from becoming an elite player for years to come. He's taking his talents to Philadelphia, where he'll be playing for UPenn, and you pretty much know for a fact this guy's going to tear it up for the Quakers. And at number two, we have Ben Johnston, a midfielder out of Avon Old Farms in Connecticut. From every account, coaches think he could play college lacrosse right now, and at 6'1", 200 pounds, it's hard to argue with him. Ben is definitely the most physically gifted player in his class, and his change of direction is insane. I actually started laughing when I watched his highlight reel because of how much separation he got from every defender. He also has a rocket of an outside shot and unload shots from distances most players wouldn't dream of. From what I've heard, he's also a great defender and can do a little bit of everything. And not surprisingly, Duke snatched him up, so he'll join a long list of elite Blue Devil midfielders that dominate the ACC. I think he's going to fit right in at Duke. And finally, at number one, this shouldn't be a surprise, McCabe Millen from McDonough in Baltimore, Maryland. What's impressed me the most about him is that he's exceeded every expectation while being the son of Mark Millen, one of the greatest lacrosse players of all time. McCabe is the definition of a QB. He just looks so natural when he plays. And it's not an exaggeration when I say he can do anything on offense. He has a hard outside shot, he can dodge from X, he can dodge from the wing or up top, and can move off ball and use his high lacrosse IQ to get open. It's honestly difficult for me to see how McCabe won't be a household name in lacrosse. He has every bit of talent out of anyone I've seen, and he has the work ethic to back it up. After I did a reacting to highlights episode with him, one of the biggest things I noticed is that this guy lives and breathes lacrosse. He's absolutely in love with it, and we're all going to watch this guy for years to come. And all I can say is, it's just scary how good players are now. I hope this video gives you motivation to keep working, and just excitement that lacrosse is headed in the right direction. Also, let me know what video I should make next. I definitely want to do more videos on high school recruits, but let me know what you think. I'm Jake with Lax Weekly, and I'll see you next time.